Madam Tori don't come again with another of Bonge Tori, oh my people. Me kuna see you. These are our various political parties' presidential candidates for Labour Party na Pita Obi, for PDP na Atiku Abubaka, and for NNPP na Rabi Musa Kwankwaso. They come they tell Nigerians now, my people, they say they get solution to the problem of health care for inside Nigeria. Not the only that one they talk about. They come say talk, say they get solution to the problem of education for inside Nigeria. Now, now, we be say everybody knows, say, as we just newly resume school after they don't strike for eight good months, they say they get solution to the problem of ASU. My people, they come say, ah, join, say the problem of poverty, say they get solution to run. My people, this theory presidential candidate, they they come by themselves, they're not just saying representative at all. Make you carry your chair, make you watch this video, make you see for yourself. Among the three presidential candidates, so the one way be say they really get Nigerians at heart, my people. And the one way you still know say ego fit solve this problem where they come make mention. So as this three presidential candidate come, they give Nigerians assurance, say they go fit solve this problem. I beg if you don't watch this video finish, make you try, drop your comments for inside our comment section. Make you not see forget, say this on a radio Joe and online television. Make you follow us work out for inside our Facebook and our Instagram. Don't forget, say we see the inside TikTok. Oh. I beg. Make you help us push this video by liking and sharing it. How do you intend to deal with poverty? Issues centers on health, education, human capital, and poverty. Though human capital encompasses health and education, and of course, lack of it is the direct consequence of poverty where Nigeria is 55 years, while the global average is 72.8. And of course, in human capital, the last measure that I know published by World Bank in 2018, were 152 over 157. And in poverty, you've seen, you mentioned it yourself, we're 133. And this situation, like you've mentioned, is unacceptable and calls for one thing, the great escape. The difference between rich and poor nation is health and education. So how do you tackle this? You tackle it by investing in this critical area. And that's what I would do if I had the opportunity of serving. The United Nations and the World Bank believe that uh, for any government to pull out uh, people from poverty, that certainly entails uh, five major things. Uh, the issue of housing, the issue of education, the issue of health, uh, very, very important. And of course, the uh, job opportunities and so on. So um, these are things that are uh, in the course of my experience, especially in Kano, we had an opportunity uh, to pull out so many people from poverty by way of uh, education mainly, right from primary, secondary to tertiary level. Uh, education has always been key to us. It's number one, number two, number three on our agenda. And of course, uh, now we have an issue of insecurity, which is also very important. Our situation in Nigeria, whereby people cannot go to the farm, people cannot buy and sell because of insecurity and so on. All these uh, issues aggravated uh, the issue of poverty in this country. We have got all the statistics, uh, both internationally and locally. Uh, the most important thing is emphasized by both uh, Peter and Rabiu, fundamentally is education. Uh, we have to get our kids educated, and not educated only, but rightly educated. And then by the time you educate them, you find that they become readily available to the private sector, which should be actually the engine of growth. The private sector is the driver of prosperity in any given nation. The responsibility 
of the public sector, that is the government, is to see how we can incentivize the private sector to really make use of these talented young men and women who will be produced through our educational reform. And educational reform must be in such a way that they are able to cope, you know, with current educational trends.